for a US $180 million um, assistance from the government to upgrade the transmission and distribution uh, network as a matter of priority? That's my first question. So, we made it clear we will fund these activities. I explain the same people who argue that Afro Guyanese don't get any work. And when they get work, the focus is entirely on them. How many other contractors don't finish their work on time in this country? How many other contractors don't finish their work on time? Of people of every race. But the obsession in a very difficult environment is with the people from Hits and Jams because somehow they're perceived to be close to the PPP, not to, uh, immediately. So we will, they have presented um, this proposal to us and I think we'll get back, but we've indicated we'll have the, the funding ready. Even if it has to come from the budget, it has to be done because we felt, felt that APNO was going after them in a political manner. It was persecuting the indo Guyanese because you wanted them to migrate. It was part of a political strategy. We defended Amerindians. We defended people in Region 10. We, we defend all of our people, from regardless of their race. And on corruption, there will be corruption. We've built, this party has built in several mechanisms to fight corruption. Um, I was making a point about funding, right? That even if we have it funded from a loan, you still have to get the expenditure cleared in Parliament. So we do have to go back for supplementary because the difference between financing and supplementary. But the two contracts that are fo they're focused heavily on, and let me say something here. Now, I support these contracts. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. What is government's uh, position with respect to a, a request by GPL for a US $180 million um, assistance from the government to upgrade the transmission and distribution uh, network as a matter of priority? That's my first question. So. We made it clear, we will fund these activities. I explained at great length about the several components, the five components of the project. And I'm not going to repeat those. But part of the distribution component that is from the power plant We've already awarded a contract to evacuate the power from the power plant to the control center, which would be built at Eccles to bring the power across. And also to take some of the power to Breeden Hoop. So there are several substations and the transmission main as part of that that component and the contract has been awarded to an Indian company, Kalipataru, I think that's the name, and that component which should be completed along with the pipeline component of the project by the end of the year. So that will bring power to the control center which is being built now, a separate component of the project. We argued we, we also said there are two other components of this project outside of those five um, that are crucial. One is to take, to build a transmission main to take power to Linden and with a substation to, to, to allow distribution of some of the power along the highway to electrify the communities along the highway. We, so that component, we are already drafted the request for proposal and it's out. 
and then there is about another component running between 180 maybe to 250 million that would lead to critical upgrades in the distribution and the transmission system to ensure that the power once we have more power that we can take this power to Burbies, to all everywhere else the whole like georgetown and uh, and that the transmission the the poor transmission system and the weak distribution system replacing transformers etc wouldn't affect us so then we will have power more power but still have blackouts because of the weak transmission system so that is also a component that they are working on and we will fund that too we'll have to fund it when will that one that, that has to start almost immediately to, uh, immediately so we will they have presented um this proposal to us and i think we'll get back but we've indicated we'll have the the funding ready even if it has to come from the budget it has to be done do you, you foresee uh well not this current budget as it stands but do you foresee a return to the assembly for supplementary funding there, there, there could be that there could be that or we could get it financed from a loan okay okay but even if it's financed from a loan that's just the funding can you ask steve to one minute just ask steve to get me to, to come a minute yes so um i was making a point about funding right that even if we have it funded from a loan you still have to get the expenditure cleared in parliament. So we do have to go back for supplementary because the difference between financing and supplementary. Can you get me that document where they spoke at Medi about the judge's ruling? Just get it. I think I left it on my desk. And, and you foresee uh, this coming into place before the middle of the year? Well, next month being June. Uh, do you foresee all of this oh, money? Oh, oh, um, it has to be. It has to be done. It has to be done before the middle of the year. We have to get this done in time for the distribution of the power. And who you may be turning to for the loan? Who? No, there, there are several sources now. We can probably go private now. As I said to you before, we're finding now that the private sources of funding are cheaper than the multilateral sources. And I, I pointed this out that two, two loans, um, the Islamic Development Bank loan is like 5.9% for the Linden Highway. The interest is 5.9%. 5, 5 for, for in the private sector, we may be able to borrow below 5%. Quickly, two other questions. Um, yeah, sure. Is government willing to go back to the negotiating table? One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. Delta 9 family, 180 million US dollars was just awarded to GPL. 180 million US dollars was just awarded to GPL. Immediately, more additional funds. This is not just to take care of everything that's going on, but this is in addition to the ships that's coming. This is in addition to the gas, the energy. This is in addition to all the other funding. Now, this is something good. If all of this money actually goes in to the infrastructure in the country. This is something good. If this money actually goes in to making sure that black hole is a thing of the past forever in Guyana, this would be something good if allegedly, just like it was said, all of this money goes into and takes care of all the things that is needed to update, upgrade, and to bring GPL where it needs to be. And we're hoping that that's what goes down. We're hoping, right? We're hoping that after 2025, 
how we can give them some time because we know growth takes time nothing don't happen just so so we can give them some time to make sure that everything get in place but you see if come by the ending because this is me right if you're coming to the ending of june and the blackout situation is still the same something is wrong because these funds are released immediately as you just hear right so something's supposed to be better because we got to ship them coming and we got all of these funds that was just put into developing and making sure that everything is good in the country when it come down to power when it come down to electricity so we got to make sure that we keep an eye upon these projects because guess what we want to make sure all the money is spending in the right place and people doing what they're supposed to do in the places they were placed to do things to do things and when we talk about do things right now Jagdi was saying two people that get in the most fight while they're trying to do things in Guyana is bits and jams and critic he's saying these two punch are getting the biggest fight he says more than 10 pump station that are built right more than 10 pump station building right now and these two contract getting the biggest fight and you want to know but why you are fighting down bits and jam so much why you are fighting down allegedly to pull you so much why you are fighting down these companies even though there's new people on the block they deserve to make money too melanated people deserve to make money too and you are saying you are getting contract when we get a contract look look what you are doing if you hear directly with Jack Yoga for several days, contract and the fact that a lot of people bothering and crying, fighting down, allegedly, it's and jams and critics' money. But is it that they might be calling out real situations that they might see? Is it something that is right? For guy needs to make sure that they scrutinize and call out certain things when they see it could it be that these allegedly projects are very late could it be that allegedly these projects are being mismanaged allegedly could it be that these situations are somehow dealing in some type of cronyism to where people are just benefiting off of their relationships what's going on here we're going to analyze. We're going to hear directly what Jack Yoga for say. And then guess what? We are going to pick it apart and come up with our own synopsis. Come up with our own understanding. Why? Because Dionysus is not no fool, buddy. We want to hear what's going on. Because there might be some bad minded people to know, allegedly. The corruption. So they've ignored all what happened on the afternoon. They've ignored the fact that we have resumed lawful tendering now or acting in accordance with our procurement act where things are publicly tendered and all these contracts were publicly tendered when people were handpicked to get contracts on the APNU, which was just recent. They ignored all of that, but that's fine. People have a right to do so. But isn't it a bit unfair to, they fall into, and I notice they quote liberally from the opposition. Isn't it a bit unfair? You have on those pump stations, you've had about 19 of them are being built now on the construction. You've had companies there that this government has had to cancel a bit the, the contract run by indo Guyanese. Run by indo Guyanese. We've had to cancel a contract in Burbies for over 800 million. The guy didn't comply. Now that person had track record, uh, built pump stations before. But the two contracts that are fo they're focused heavily on, and let me say something here. Now I support these contracts. But I didn't, uh, so they tried to make everyone Jack Dio's friend. And both of these contracts, 
I, I don't go to the cabinet. I didn't even know when they were awarded. So, but I support them. I support them because these are afro guyanese too, who are trying to get into this. These are the same people who argue that afro guyanese don't get any work. And when they get work, the focus is entirely on them. How many other contractors don't finish their work on time in this country? How many other contractors don't finish their work on time? Of people of every race, but the obsession in a very difficult environment is with the people from Hits and Jams, because somehow they're perceived to be close to the PPP. Not, not, they're not card-bearing members of the PPP, but these are the same people who are going to say that afro Ghanaians don't get a break. When they tender and they got a contract now, the entire focus on them, it might be because of corruption. As though people close to the PPP too, even if they are, should not get any work. This is what I notice already. And it's part of a, a clear plan. So we made it clear. Let me make it clear. We don't we will defend the interests of all the people of this country. We defended indo Guyanese interests and the sugar workers when they were under assault because we felt, felt that APNO was going after them in a political manner. It was persecuting the indo Guyanese because they wanted them to migrate. It was part of a political strategy. We defended Amerindians. We defended people in Region 10. We, we defend all of our people, from regardless of their race. And on corruption, there will be corruption. We've built, this party has built in several mechanisms to fight corruption, including uh, one of the most robust laws that we have. People have recourse to review the PPC. They have recourse to the court. The thousands of contracts we do now, most of them are done on time and they serve the benefit of the people of the country. If they do have corruption, people, they, we should expose this. But this is totally, totally um, uh, unfair. When you focus only on a couple of people, almost as part of a plan, this is part of the same philosophy of boycott. And also, if you dare get a contract, never mind we say you're not getting contract because you're afro Guyanese, but if you get a contract, we will make sure you don't succeed so you stay in our camp. And this is part of the plan. Now, <clears throat> there's one thing I wanna say too, because I find, and I, this week we've had, or last week, we had a number of people who were removed from the seawall. Buying shares in Dubai, a company in Dubai, to work on a joint venture with another company to come here to buy the GPL. I am not one of those persons. I am not one of those persons. So they're running down GPL to the point where, this, where the people of this country will get 